So as you uh, walk this labyrinth path, um, there's this extraordinary place in the center of the labyrinth. How do you think about that place? That's an interesting question. I think of that perhaps as the final unifying, integrating place. But truthfully, I feel like I'm not there yet. And so it's a little obscure to me. Mm -hmm. And uh, as your friends are with you in this process, what, um, what do you, uh, what would you like from them? From my friends? Yeah. What's the best way your friends can support you? The interesting thing I've noticed is that my friends each support me uniquely with their own gifts. Mm -hmm. um, and part of it is not judging your friends for what they don't give you, but that they bring to you their unique gift. And um, there's just so much. Uh, I mean, I don't need another thing from my friends. They've already, they've done nothing but shower me on every level. I mean, financially, people have given me hundreds of dollars. Just people I don't even know have given me money. People recognize how difficult a time like this is financially. And so from the most material to the most esoteric, sitting up till three in the morning, plumbing the depths of our beings, uh, and opening our hearts and being really true to each other, and also going through horrible times, difficulty and anger, because a lot of things come up. And anger is one of them. People get angry at you for leaving them. I get angry at them for stuff, and I'm not always so happy-go-lucky being sick. And so you have to constantly go past the surface and dive beneath that and hold on to the love that's part of your karmic or deeper uh, relationship with that person. Mm -hmm. okay. So, okay, um, hang on for just a second, please. So, um, so getting near the end of our questions here. Um, so, what do you, I mean, you've talked about love, you know that love is sort of the main force that you're working with here in one way or another. I'm just wondering if you have any further reflections on, on that um, powerful force that you would like to share with us. I believe that love truly is the fabric of the world. It's what weaves the world together. It is the world, in spite of what it appears to be. It appears to be a pretty big mess right now. But I do believe that everything is love. And I believe the force of love is so great that we often fear approaching it, embracing it. And really, uh, we've done little culturally to really talk about love and its depth of meaning. We've got love is like a Hallmark card now. It's a sentimentalized thing. And in our approach culturally, we have diminished it. To me, love is what raises the sun every day. It's what moves the stars. It what beats our heart. And um, it's an unimaginable force to be reckoned with. And I feel that because the love in me has expanded in ways I've never imagined possible. And um, because of that, I get a sense of the fact that it's almost, we're almost afraid to go there. We're afraid of love. So this, and I have been, and my friends have been. So when something like this happens, and now your friend might leave you, all of a sudden your heart breaks open. And um, you begin to feel the force of that love. And it's, I pray that as culture, we can stop trivializing love 
and start really understanding its potency because nothing is more potent than love. And that's where we need to look every time we go into despair or fear, reminding ourselves that nothing is more potent than that force. Well, uh, in this room full of friends, we want to thank you for taking us down the labyrinth a bit. And um, we know that you are loved, and we thank you for blessing us with your presence.